Hello, dear friends. We're happy to be here with you once again at six o'clock in the afternoon, the time that we're dedicating to pray together to help our planet raise its vibration. And for today, we're going to start with a message from the book, Our Daily Bread. If you have it, please follow with me. Um, it's chapter 131, and the title is The World and Faith. And it says, Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down from the cross so that we may see and believe. Because there are very few people capable of truly understanding pure faith, it is essential character. We meet those who have offended Christ in order to confirm him. The miracle mentality has always swum on the surface of the senses without reaching the realm of the eternal spirit. And if it does not achieve its unworthy purposes, it degenerates into scornful challenges. In the case of the master, these remarks do not stem solely from the mob. Mark states that the chief priests and scribes also took part in insulting Jesus, as if to say that intellectually does not imply spiritual development. The offenders remain deaf to the good news of the kingdom, blind to the benefits they received, and insensitive to the loving touch that Jesus had directed to all hearts. They were only looking for a spectacle. If Christ would come down from the cross as if by magic, all the problems of their inferior belief would have been resolved. However, Jesus gave them no other response than silence giving them to understand that the magnitude of his gesture was inaccessible to their childish purposes. If you are a sincere disciple of the gospel, do not forget that even today, the situation is not much different. Work consciously in the service of faith. Unite with the Lord Give all you can in his name and continue working to extend the good, knowing that the vast, unevolved world will only ask you maliciously for distractions and signs. So let, let us read the last three paragraphs because it's, it's really important for us to, to reflect on this. He's saying, Jesus gave them no other response than silence giving them to understand that the magnitude of his gesture was inaccessible to their childish purposes. If you, meaning me and you and everybody else, if you are a sincere disciple of the gospel, do not forget that even today, the situation is not much different. Work consciously in the service of faith. Unite with the Lord Give all you can in his name and continue working to the extent the good, knowing that the vast, unevolved world will only ask you maliciously for distractions and signs. So, dear friends, Emmanuel brings to us something, you know, quite interesting. One, he's saying, you know, it's, he recognizes in us our human part, our unevolved part, that we, it's still very childish that we are looking for signs here and there and we're only going to do something if we have something back. And Jesus is saying, you know, I, I will wait in silence until you're ready. But he's saying, if you are ready, we have to work. Work how? Consciously. We have to work consciously in the service of faith. So, Right now, could this be said it's work? It is. We are working with Jesus to help vibrate higher with our planet. And then he finishes to, you know, telling us that you can, in his name, continue working to the extent of the good. 
So, dear friends, let us accept the invitation from Jesus for us to grow up, for us to work with Him in the service of the good, as it's going to be good for us instead of a distraction that is just you no know, doing nothing for us. So, it's a beautiful message, as usual, that we get to share together. And let us take it to heart. Let us reflect on it during our prayer. So, I would invite you right now to close your eyes. Center yourself by breathing in and breathing out a couple times. Let it go of all the the noise of the day, you know, if you are home with your children, this is a time for you. Let us visualize Jesus, the master of all masters, with us, extending his hands, waiting for us to hold on to it. Dear loving master, we thank you for the opportunity of these reflections with you and with the team of spirit mentors that you have sent. We hope that we have ears to hear the message, that we can consciously absorb it and be able to develop on the skills that each one of us need. We hope to be contributors towards the progress of our planet, to the progress of our own being, and to the many lives that surround us. We pray that we are able to share serenity, peace, that we are soldiers of the good in a battle that is already won because you are ahead of it. Dear loving master, you inspire us every day with the actions that you demonstrated to us when you were incarnated. We hope to be exemplary in our actions, in our thoughts and emotions, to act like adults and take charge on the work that needs to be done. We pray to the many lives that are now feeling confused in the physical realm and the spiritual realm, that they find relief on the words that you brought to us, to the spirits that accompany us, we also pray for you that this is a time also yours to reflect and change. Accept that we are now moving towards a planet of regeneration and you are welcome to stay as long as you're willing to change. We thank you, loving masters, for sending so many kind hearts to guide us in both realms. And we want to extend these prayers to all of them. We couldn't name all the people that are working tirelessly right now. But we pray for, for every single one of you. And a special prayer to families that find themselves now separated for so many reasons. Maybe they are in different countries. Maybe they are in jobs that don't allow them to come home. Maybe they are in senior homes that now we can't visit anymore. To all these hearts that feel lonely and separated, feel our embrace, feel our love, that we are together in this and everything shall pass. Thank you, loving Master, always. And with your permission, we would like to close 
this prayer today and so be it friends thank you so much for being here with me i felt it and it felt good i hope you keep the beautiful message from jesus um, with you throughout the week and don't forget we are sharing these prayers every day at six o'clock please connect with us Join us in this beautiful effort as we are all connected and we have our duty to contribute in these moments. I wish you all a beautiful evening and many blessings. Goodbye.